Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're talking about um, graphics cards again. <laughs> Nvidia uh, apparently came out with um, DLSS 3.5 which essentially is going to give you even more of a performance boost when it comes to ray tracing. Now it will do reconstructed uh, reconstruction of ray tracing um, and it actually is adding a benefit. Uh, it actually looks better in a lot of cases than than, than what it than what it normally would which is which is definitely a benefit um i i've been thinking about this for for a little while now you know like since i switched over to to the amd side of things and you know like going back through some of my games and playing them with ray tracing on with with this new 7900 xt uh we just got an update for the um for, for the for the amd cards the other day and and it, and it does and it does appear to be you know definitely more stable than you know but i i haven't really ran into a whole lot of instability problems with the amd card just yet <coughs> um this weekend i will be upgrading to a 5900x thanks to onyx he sent one out pretty awesome it should be here by the weekend so we'll be able to we'll be able to upgrade that to the 5900x and we'll see how that we'll we'll see how that goes um yeah that's good news so this dlss 3.5 actually will support older gen rtx cards so all the way back to the 20 series cards which is which is pretty awesome and i'm not even gonna lie man that that is an actual step forward for for nvidia you know at least improving the experience for their older rtx cards because if and, and here's the thing man i feel like they kind of have to i feel like they kind of have to if they're if they're wanting to really push the ray tracing technology and really get it out there and really get people talking about it gaining mind share they, they need to they need to support their older gen cards even with even with the three that 3000 series they they should have brought dlss frame generation to those cards as well even if it even if it didn't work as well as the 40 series cards they should have brought it they they should have brought it so that people could so that they could take their experience a little bit further um i'll tell you right now i'm very big with backwards compatibility and getting support long term for my experiences that's why i continue to buy samsung phones because they continue to upgrade me well past when i upgrade anyways so if i ever needed to like fall back and rely on my phone at least i know i still get updates so i stay with samsung i, I stay with them for for a long time because they started bringing features and you know new uh new versions of android and all of that stuff way later than most of the other people were doing so so i like that and i very and i really appreciate that same with xbox i really appreciate the backwards compatibility i appreciate the the way that they go back and they bring everything forward well they try to bring as much of it forward as possible that right there is big with me and if nvidia is you know going back i mean like nvidia kind of has to do that because they are the market leader i mean i guess they don't have to i mean playstation never did that you know until xbox started doing it so with, with nvidia it, at least for when it comes to ray tracing like this is the whole point of the video like i don't want to sit and waste your guys this time but nvidia has to find ways to make that experience good on all of their rtx cards not forever i mean this is probably like like the last update that they really need to deliver in terms of ray tracing performance for like the 20 series cards but it but but they do need to support that if they're going to bring out that technology and 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 sell that product to you um whether it's the 20 series the 30 series the 40 series the 50 series whatever they're doing as long as it's in the rtx brand they need to backwards support those cards and continue to try to deliver more of an experience for their users going forward um amd here's the thing okay this is why it's i'm not i'm not shaking you know i'm not like oh my gosh i need to go get another nvidia card i like i said i came to this a i came to the 7900 xt from amd 
pretty much willing to leave ray tracing on the board or on the table at this point in time in in gaming due to the fact that it is very intensive and takes a lot of power to run ray tracing um when, when you turn it on you literally see your performance your performance cut in half immediately it's like it cuts it right in half so for in in my in, in my experience you know with the with the nvidia graphics cards you know seeing that significant hit to the performance to where i had no choice but to use dlss to claw that back um it i i still wouldn't even get as much performance back as i lost so i always found myself in like a i always found myself in a predicament with that 3080 card do i use ray tracing or do i don't use ray tracing and and that kind of that kind of does something to your mind it kind of does something to your mind to the point where you're just like, well, I guess I can't use it anyways, and I'm not going to go buy a 38, I'm 3090 or whatever just so I can use it. It, it kind of does something. It kind of tells you that like, yeah, it's there. You can look at it, but you can't touch. And and that is that is infuriating to me. You know what I mean? Like that that is so annoying to the fact that like you you go out and you spend a 30 buy a 3080, you should be able to get pretty decent ray tracing performance out of that card and i mean given you know most of the stuff that was out when that came out you know turning on like uh, dlss would essentially give that to you and allow you to use that but the thing with the nvidia guys you know always throwing that in everybody else's faces it's like if you get on your 4090 and you turn on cyberpunk path tracing and you run around without dlss or frame generation you're not getting the greatest freaking frame rate like you you're still under 60 frames a second but when you turn on dlss and you turn on frame generation yeah it does make the experience way more playable so but then you got to ask yourself is that really worth that at this point and anybody that's buying a 4090 will pretty much tell you yeah yeah it's definitely worth it you know because they want the medium to grow and i as a gamer i want the medium to grow as well but i also want the people that are going to go out and invest that money in a lower form or a, a lower tier card i want them to be able to get a representative experience to that for for that class of card and that's why i said a few videos back 12 gigabyte 4070 4070 ti is technically in my opinion the 4090 of 1080p Whereas the 4080 is pretty much the 4090 of 1440p. And then your 4090 for your 4K and stuff. Like, I believe that those cards are there. And if I was to ever go back to NVIDIA, that's, you know, where I would, I would put my, that's where I would put my, uh, my money is wherever, wherever I wanted to slot in. If I wanted 1440p, I'd buy the 4080. If I was going for 4K, which I'm probably pretty much on a collision course with 4k and 1440p right now like there I, th I think they're both viable resolutions so i'm really happy that i that i have the option between both but i have been since i've gotten this card i've been able to experience more uh 4k that that looks significantly better than what i was able to push on that 3080 with with more playable frame rate so so now i'm starting to see now i'm starting to get a real taste of real 4k at playable frame rates and i'm i'm excited about that like i'm pretty happy about that and and it and it does kind of suck man it does kind of suck that you have to spend you know upwards of a couple grand to get 4k at playable frame rates like it does suck but 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 i built this pc for right around two thousand bucks like right around two thousand bucks um if i if i factor in a cpu and all of that so right around two thousand dollars you can right now today go out and buy a pc that for the most part even with newer games i was trying immortals of Avarin. i could get a 4k 60 experience out of that with this no problem the um the specs came out today for what you need for for 4k ultra settings on forza motorsport and uh it's a 7900 xt with a 5800 x so right now i have the 4k ultra experience right now with this box and that's about two thousand dollars if you're willing to build it yourself and that's what i and, and that's what i want you know like the the, the people from the console that, that, that are here at this channel because i'm going to tell you right now like i'm going to be honest with you it and I'm going to make a video about this after this one. I'm going to make a video dedicated to this. But it is 
it is becoming more challenging for me to opt to buy a console version of a game now over the PC version. Like it is. It is. I am, you know, the last game that, that I played, you know, Atlas Fallen, um, Deck 13 provided review code for the PC version, and I and I bought the Xbox version. And I mean, like the Xbox version of the game looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I mean, and we'll talk about Remnant 2 as well, but the um, the experience that you get when, when you when you when you compare both you know side by side the experience that you get on the pc versus what you get on the xbox series x man i i i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to like be like this this pc master race guy that that talks down on my on my console brothers because man i've been a console guy for so long that that now that i'm getting a taste of 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 this pc experience and it's and it's been easier to to find things and to get in there and to to figure things out man i just want you guys to know that like it it does have its it does have its pros and cons man it does and i've i'm i've decided to buy armored core 6 on on the pc um and and probably forego the xbox version on that game just because I, I I want a higher frame rate. I want to be able to play a From Software game at, at 120 frames a second. I want to be able to see it maxed out and see all the visuals because some of these games, like I can already tell you, man, I was thinking about picking up another copy of Immortal um, Immortals Avern of Avern, and um, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, after Remnant 2, after seeing what Immortals of Avern looks on the PC at max settings. And then juxt or, or uh, comparing that, or you know, comparing that to the experience that you get on Xbox with uh, Remnant Two versus the the PC experience for Remnant Two. Oh man, that that would be a significant cut, like a cutback. That that would, and um, and to tell you the truth, I, I I don't know, I don't know, man. These next gen games. That we're starting to get, guys. Like I'm not even joking, man. Like you, you, you go back and you look at Final Fantasy 16. You look at Forspoken. Just Forspoken compared to PS5 to PC. Wow, it's it's almost night and freaking day. Like it's it's almost night and day. Like the experience is like, wow, this is incredible looking. You got you know better draw distance. Everything looks sharper and cleaner, and it it. The the uh, the texture detail is a lot better. The um, the the character models look look a little better. Uh, there there's there's not as much you know breakup in like the hair and stuff like that. And it and and you just and you just start to look like that experience that we were all hoping and wanting that we were gonna get from our 4K 60 consoles. We're we're, we're seeing that f we're seeing that like slowly drift away and and we're and we're sitting there making excuses for 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 these corporations and these these plastic boxes and we're fighting with each other about it you know we're we're, we're literally calling each other freaking names on the internet fighting over a plastic box and and i'm and i'm sitting here and i'm and i'm and, and i'm and i'm kind of observe, observing that's why i don't really get into it anymore like with with it because i'm just kind of observing how people treat each other over these consoles and then like sitting here and playing these games maxed out with max settings at over 60 frames a second and and, and i'm looking at the experience that i'm getting now and then you know kind of you know thinking about the money that i put into that and knowing that like hey man my games on pc are going to go with me no matter what like i don't have to worry about if the next ps5 or ps6 or xbox is going to be backward compatible like my pc is going to be backward compatible and, and I'm looking at that, and I'm and I'm thinking like, dang, dude, I don't I don't even gotta pay for online. I don't even gotta pay play video games online, man. Like I, I don't I, I can play you know most of these games with the console guys, um, because they're they're cross platform and stuff, and that 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 just kind of makes you stop and think that like, that like, dude, we're fighting over kids' toys. We're we're we're, we're literally fighting over over kids' toys. Like I get that the consoles, you know, are convenient. They're there. You can jump on them. You can play them. And and don't get me wrong. Like I love consoles. I'll probably buy the next ones. Like no matter what, just because of the fact that that like I want. I I I like that. I like that. I like that ecosystem. But then on the other hand, 
like I, I think of my consoles as my security blanket. You know what I mean? Like it's my security blanket for gaming. I'll probably keep the consoles and you know what I mean? Like I'll keep them, but I, I will start transitioning more toward like, like PC gaming, um, over the rest of my life like i like i will and that's that's just kind of inevitable you know you get to a point and you kind of grow up and it's it's almost like a rite of passage to build your own pc and to get it all set up and put all your programs on there and and, and load everything in and set things up the way you want them and it, it's it's kind of like a rite of passage to becoming like like an extreme gamer i don't know not extreme gamer but but just like somebody that's I, I know, but I but I get it too. Most of the people in my age right now, you know, we're we're not we're not necessarily we're not necessarily like the like like the hardcore gamers. We just want to play games. We just want to you know set up our things and play our games and stuff. And guys, honestly, if I wouldn't have started this channel, I would have been none the wiser. I would have never bought a PC. I would have just kept on my consoles. Like if I hadn't started this chancel, this this console or this this um, this channel, I I wouldn't be PC gaming right now. I would still be fighting with everybody else over Xbox and PlayStation, and 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 I do. I kind of feel like it's a futile fight, a futile fight for for anybody to get into that right now. I mean, especially after watching you know GamesCon today, and seeing like Xbox just having like a major presence there and PlayStation basically nowhere to be found. Almost like they're like. Yeah, who cares about these guys? We got their money. I mean, dude, they've already sold 40 million PlayStation 5s. They don't care. They don't care anymore. They've already 100% recouped their money. Every PlayStation 5 they sell now, every P every P PS PSVR 2 headset they sell now is literally money in the freaking bank. Like, they've already paid off. Like, uh, and, 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 it, and it sucks, man, because... I don't know, man. Gaming has become so freaking complicated it's not even funny it's not even funny i mean you got people out there like toting this trillion dollar company freaking nvidia because and and saying that they're the best and i mean like nvidia is propped up so much on fake on 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 on, on like ai generation and all of that stuff they, they are propped up their their products are so propped up on that to where if you look at it, if you strip all that stuff away, all the FSRs and the DLSS and all of that, if you strip all of that away, both of these cards, like the 7900 XT, X, and 4090, literally trade blows. I mean, they trade blows. The, the 7900 XT and the, the 4080, they, they literally trade blows. If there was no magic for NVIDIA and there was no magic for AMD... Like these guys would be trading blows now, man. That's that's how far AMD has progressed in the graphics card market to where they are delivering a a performance gain for their for their for their platform that is pretty much on par with with Nvidia when it comes to I mean if you if you strip away all the magic. So I mean for anybody to be like, "Oh yeah, Nvidia is the best." Man, like I, I get that, dude, and they do have some incredible software that really does make the thing look better, and and it and it helps significantly to to give you back performance and all of that stuff. But I mean, they're they're trading blows. They're trading blows. I don't feel like I made a bad choice going to AMD. Like I'm getting, I'm getting a good, I'm getting a better experience with this without using upscalers than I was getting on that forty or that thirty eighty with using upscalers. I'm okay. Like I, I definitely feel like I stepped up. I, I definitely feel like I stepped up, and and I've got room to push that now. Now, now I could be like, all right, and and so that's what I've been doing. Like normally, I just I just play on 1440p, and and I can I can I can blow the doors off of anything on this card with 1440p. Like I can knock it right out of the park with this card, and so now I've been over here on the 4K playing around with FSR2 and XESS and and just having fun, man. Like experiencing like PC gaming. And having fun and like I'm getting I'm I am getting pretty lost in this. Like I, I am I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like I am getting pretty lost in this. So I, 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 I want like the I want the community to know that like I'm I'm just I'm working through this right now. I'm trying to get my head straight again because like seriously man, getting caught up in this whole PC thing is it's not a bad thing. Like I'm enjoying it, like I really am enjoying it, but I don't wanna be like I don't. I don't want to be like, um. Oh man, like I'm not. I'm not going to cover like consoles anymore because I will cover for like every freaking single. See, here's the thing. 
here's the thing. Like, I'll cover every single Microsoft exclusive on the Xbox. No problem. I get I get dual entitlement. I will cover every single one of them on there. No problem. Don't have a problem with that. The thing is, is when I go out and I buy these games and I spend full price on them and, and I'll put videos out and I'll get like a couple hundred views on them and stuff, that's kind of a waste of money when I buy like the Xbox or the PlayStation version. So I might as well just buy it on the PC and and cover it, you know, from the PC. Like a lot of the bigger reviewers do that. They cover the PC version, but I, I don't know, man. Like th this is tough. This is why you know this is why I'm at a crossroads with with what to do because I have the ability to have an awesome gaming experience, but I want to cover those games for you, but then. It's not going to be a rep representative experience for what I'm experiencing. So so it's hard, man. Like, I've already covered a few games, you know, like all pumped up and high, all, all high, all, all, all souped up off the PC version, you know, like Atlas Fallen, Forspoken, you know, like a lot of these games that I've covered on the PC that I've played on the PC. And then and then you guys get mad when 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 they're not you know, when they don't hold up to your expectations, you know. Uh, when you've got you know remnant two, and and I was saying this while I was playing it with with the, with some people from the with, with some of the with some of the guys in the community, and I was saying this, I was like, dude, I can feel, I can literally feel the frame drops, I can feel the, I can feel the, uh, I can feel the instability in this game, and um, you know, it, it it it's weird, man. It is it is so weird how fast things change when you are. When when you're when you're like moving forward with technology, man, and like honestly, guys, I would never be here doing all of this stuff if I had never started this channel. I wouldn't be moving as fast, and uh, I wouldn't be moving this fast. Like I would not be moving this fast. I would still be a weekend warrior playing video games. But man, this thing's taken over my life, man. Like it's taken over my life. I play more video games now than I probably did when I was a kid. No, I'm just joking. It's probably not that bad, but. All right, man. I'm going to stop bugging you guys. I, well, I'm not bugging you. Well, I'm going to stop, like, rambling on. This is getting to, like, 22 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and post this video. I've got other videos to make tonight. You're going to get more of these little whiny videos. So <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.